Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. If you are tired of staring at bare walls in this video, I'm going to show you three amazing ways to create stunning texture wall art on canvas. No artistic skills required. So grab your canvas and let's get right into the first idea. For all my projects, I will be using 40 times 30 cm canvas, but of course they can be done on any size. I take masking tape and tape it on the edges. This will create nice and clean edge, same size as the tape width. To create the texture, I will use instant filler. I live in UK, but I'm not sure uh, what would be a substitute in US. I use the one from the tube as it's smoother than the one from the pot. I've also added a few drops of water and stir it well. Using party knife, I apply the mixture onto my canvas. Try to make it quite thick and even. With the special tool, which you can buy online or craft store, often found in bakery section, I start creating the pattern. Because the fillers stay wet for quite a long time, you can play around with the design. If you don't like something, you can easily go over it again. That's why it's important to make quite a thick layer of the filler. Then you have enough to push and make the design. Once I'm happy with it, I start gently removing the tape. I do it when the filler is still wet. I left it overnight to dry out, then using acrylic paint I start painting only over the design. If you put something straight against the edge, you will be able to paint it nicely to the line. I have to give it a try to this trend. To create this texture canvas, you will need window draft blocker seal strip, which is basically a foam tape. I divide it into single strip and will use it like this. It has an adhesive side, so it's easy to attach it straight to the canvas. With this idea, you can play around. You can create any shapes and pattern you like. I think it looks better when it's nicely rubbed around the canvas edge. I will do it later, at first I just leave long enough piece to do it. And once I'm happy with the design, I turn the canvas over and attach the sticking out parts. It's nice to use taper to do it. I couldn't find mine, so I've used hot glue instead. I don't think the glue on the foam strap is strong enough to uh, use it by itself, so it's better to add something extra. I also add a drop of the glue inside the foam. This way it will make it flatter so it won't stick out so much from the wall. 
I mix acrylic paint with baking soda and paint the whole canvas, including the edges and the foam strip. My next project I start with the taping long straps of masking tape on my canvas. As my tape is quite wide, I've decided to cut its width in half. I want to create small squares. Then, using filler, I cover the whole surface of my canvas. You can avoid putting it over the tape, but it's not a problem if you do, and it's just much quicker. I try to put quite thick and even layer of it. Once the whole canvas is covered, I take my plastic spatula tool and create the lines. I start always from the same side and go all the way across. If you are not happy with the design, you can go over it again. When the filler is still wet, I gently remove all the tape, one strip at a time. Then I leave it to dry. And once it dried out, I take white acrylic paint and paint the whole canvas. I keep it clean and simple. I hope you liked today's ideas, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more DIY inspo and let me know in the comments which project you are most excited to try. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.